This tutorial explains how to reproduce and fix the error message unexpected symbol in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will first show you how to reproduce this error message. And for this, we can simply use the codes that you can see in lines two to eight. So in these lines of code, I'm specifying different symbols at positions where they should not appear. So for instance, if you simply write a comma to RStudio and run this line of code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that the error message error unexpected comma in comma is returned. Similar to that, we can also apply the code that you can see in line four to return the error message unexpected equal sign or line six of the code to return the error message unexpected parenthesis in R. So in the first three lines of code that I have shown you, this might be obvious. However, sometimes it's very difficult to spot at which position a symbol is appearing once too often. So for instance, in line eight of the code, I'm applying some valid syntax. However, at the end of the line, I'm specifying another parenthesis. And this is a problem for the R code because this symbol should not be at this place. So if you run line eight of the code, you can see that the error message unexpected parenthesis is returned once again. So whenever this error message occurs, you should check in your R code whether you have used one of these symbols once too often. So for instance, in line 10 of the code, I'm using the same syntax as in line eight, but I'm removing the last symbol from our syntax. And then if you run line 10 of the code, you can see that the output is properly shown without any error messages. Similar to that, we can also use an equal sign as you can see in line 12 of the code to create a new data object, which is called X, or we could use parentheses properly within the mean function, as you can see in line 15 of the code. So in the last lines of code, I have shown you some proper applications of these symbols in R. However, you have to remember that always when this error message appears, you have to check your R code at which position this symbol has been inserted once too often. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.